Hello friends, welcome to my channel, or back to my channel as the case may be. Today we're up to number 51 of our 1001 tarot spreads. This spread is the business takeover spread. This is what should I be doing in preparation for a suspected business takeover. This might be because you are working at, say, a department store and new management's taking over the building, or it could be that your small business has been bought up by a bigger one. It's There is some form of transition in who is in charge in your workplace. It is a five card spread using the full deck, and we are going to once again be using the Darkwood Tarot to examine this spread. Let's get into it. Card one is, will this change in management be good for me or not? Kind of a, a yes, no question that will be answered by the first card. Card number two, should I be looking for another position, even if it's just as a precaution? Again, a yes, no question. We'll see what the cards tell us. Card number three is a bit more open-ended. It's how can I best secure my position as the transition occurs? What attributes or how should I present myself to best ensure that I make the cut as the management transitions? Card number four, whether I stay with the company or not, what skills should I be developing in a response to this transition? And card number five, is there any information I'm missing? Here we go. We're going to shuffle up and see what they tell us. So in this spread, card number one is in the center. Card number two goes above, and then we go clockwise around. Looks like I need to scoot those a little further in screen. There we go. Card number one, will this transition at work be good for me? We have the Six of Cups. The Six of Cups is nostalgia. It is looking back on what has previously occurred and possibly having some rose-colored glasses about it. This is a very neutral card in terms of answering that question. The caution here is don't allow your nostalgia of the previous amount of time you have worked for this company to blind you to the changes that are occurring because you're gonna be dealing with new people, different management styles. You won't be able to just rely on this is how it's always been. So that's a very neutral response. It's going to depend on how you look at the situation, on whether it is a good or a bad change for you. Card number two, should I be looking for another position even just as a possibility, just as a, a, a cover my ass kind of thing? We have the Eight of Pentacles reversed. The Eight of Pentacles in this deck is depicting a dryad displaying the fruit of her tree. Dryads are stationary. They're tied to their grove. They're tied to their tree. All that they can do is make the best of where they are. This card being reversed, you are not a dryad. There are things we can learn from her that it is good to foster as much growth where you are, but don't feel like you're beholden to stay. Take whatever fruit you have grown at your current location and know that you can take it with you. This is not saying that you have to leave. This is saying keep an eye out for options. It's not a bad idea to have a job offer in your back pocket. Card three, how can I best ensure my position remains after the transition? We have the Queen of Cups. The Queen of Cups is in control of her emotions. She is not reactionary. While she processes what she feels, she doesn't allow it to override her decision-making process embody these traits and you'll be okay. Anytime you're dealing with new management, there is a possibility for personality conflict. Try to look at them in the best light possible while still having the real understanding of it's a job. 
ultimately management is going to do what they feel is best for the company, not necessarily what is best for the employees, because that is what they have been trained to do. Don't take it personally. Acknowledge your emotions regarding the situation and then make a calm and collected decision about it. Card number four is the Three of Wands. In this deck, the Three of Wands depicts a vampire standing over her prey. Vampires are beings of power, of agency. They make up their own decisions and they do what is best for them. As far as what new skills this can represent, vampires are shapeshifters. They become what they need to be in order to survive. You can do the same thing. You don't need to be predatory about it, but you have the capacity to have the skills. You have the capacity to learn to become what is needed. If I had to pick a single attribute that feels like the skill to learn here is to stand up for yourself. All the stories that I have read of vampires, they stand up for themselves. Whether they are the heroes or the villains in a story, they are not timid. They are rather direct about what they want, even if they are indirect in how they get it. Know your worth, know what you want to get, and then go for it. Card number five, is there any information I'm missing? Something that might blindside me. In this reading, it is being shown as the Hierophant. The Hierophant is a card of religious or moral authority. In older tarot decks, instead of being using the word Hierophant, it used the word Pope. There is some sort of outside factor that led to this takeover of the company, to the transition in management. It is likely that you will never learn the reasons, so don't take things personally because it probably has absolutely nothing to do with you or your department or anything that you had to do with the company. It had to do with outside forces that were exerting influence. I mean, if you look at it historically, the Pope had the ability to tell countries to go to war at certain points in history because he did not like what one country or another was doing. There is some sort of outside influence that is outside of your control. So just be calm. Don't worry about finding every answer because you're not going to find them. But do what is best for you in the individual scenario. This concludes reading number 52, the company takeover spread. Do you agree with the interpretations? Do you disagree? Let me know in the comments. If you enjoyed this, leave a like, and if you really liked it, go ahead and subscribe. That way you'll be notified when I release more videos. Until next time, walk in the light, my friends. Bye.